Good evening and welcome to Bizwell. Malaysia's tourism receipts hit a record high of 84.1 billion ringgit in 2018, an increase of 2% from a year earlier. Now, according to Maybank Investment Bank Berhad Research, the 2018 tourism receipts per capita also hit a record high of 3,300 ringgit, up 3% from the previous year. In its 2019 ASEAN Tourism Report, Maybank said the achievement is attributed to a weaker ringgit and partially due to more Chinese visitors. Chinese visitors to Malaysia spent 4,200 ringgit on average, more than any other major source of visitors. The report also said that last year's tourism performance showed visitor arrivals and tourism receipts were not necessarily perfectly correlated. Last year, total visitor arrivals to Malaysia eased 0.4% year-on-year to 25.8 million, mainly attributable to the fewer visitor arrivals from Singapore and the recovering of the ringgit against the Singapore dollar. Despite the overall ease of tourist arrivals last year, arrivals from China hit a record high of 2.9 million in 2018, a growth of 29% from 2017. On domestic tourism, the report said the sector remained fantastic, with the East Coast Rail Line project expected to greatly improve accessibility to East Coast islands such as Pulau Redang and Pulau Perhentian. The Ministry of Finance has refunded 17.1 billion ringgit to the goods and services tax GST and income tax taxpayers for this year until April 30th. Its Minister Lim Guan Eng said this consisted 5.2 billion ringgit income tax refunds to company cases and 2.4 billion ringgit to non-company cases by the Inland Revenue Board while 9.5 billion ringgit GST refunds by the Royal Malaysian Customs Department went to 76,000 GST registrants as of April 30th, 2019. In a statement, he said the disbursement of tax refunds is expected to generate a positive impact for businesses in Malaysia and contribute towards economic growth. He said 16 billion ringgit of the refund came from Petronas's 30 billion ringgit one-off special dividend to be used for repaying the GST and income tax refunds of 37 billion ringgit this year as announced in the 2019 budget last year. He added that this one-off special dividend from Petronas is paid to the government in stages and the payment of tax refunds to the taxpayers has commenced since January. The trade tension between U.S. and China is expected to heighten as the risk of a complete breakdown in trade talks has certainly increased. According to Moody's Investor Service Managing Director in Credit Strategy, Michael Taylor, the 25% tariffs imposed by the U.S. on 200 billion U.S. dollars worth of Chinese imports from the previous 10% worsens the uncertainty in the global trading environment. It also further raises tensions between the two economic superpowers. He added that the higher tariffs could also lead to the global repricing of risk assets, tighter financing conditions and slower growth, particularly in Asia. Taylor, who is also the chief credit officer for Asia-Pacific region, said the higher tariffs will have a significant negative effect on exports in China against the backdrop of a slowing economy in the country. He also said that further policy easing will mitigate only some of the impact and increased uncertainty and weaker business sentiment will hinder private investment decisions. As for the rest, he cautioned that a slowdown in China will dampen growth rates. To stay relevant and competitive, Cellcom Aksyata Berhad sees 2019 as a busy year, with planned product launches throughout the year. Its chief product and innovation officer, Roy Ong, said the telecommunication company had already launched up to 10 products in the first quarter of the year, with more to come. He added that Cellcom continues to provide good quality products, especially among the youth, not only for prepaid consumers, but also postpaid and home proposition.
If I look at my product roadmap, there are going to be a lot that we're going to be doing, but we are focusing on fewer, bigger, better. And what I mean by that is we want to focus on big things that are going to deliver a huge impact in the marketplace. So this is going to be the first one of a few more to come that we want to do. As of the fourth quarter of 2018, Cellcom Axiata has 6.1 million prepaid customers and 3 million postpaid subscribers. The launch event of Cellcom x new ultra one-hour pass that offers unlimited data as low as one ringgit an hour kicked off earlier today. And that's a wrap for BizWorld this time around. I'm Raymond Goh. Thank you for your company and thanks for tuning in.